hello, hello, and happy Sunday to all of my virgins, Virgos. Yes, I am talking to each and every one of you Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Let's get right into your, your reading. The energy has already been cleared, so let's go. All right, you know by now who I'm talking to. I am talking to my analytical, hardworking, very smart Virgos, virgins. That's who I'm talking to. Let's go, Virgos. Let's go. Let's see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say. First card out of the deck is the full card and upright. Yes, I love it. I love it. Fresh new start for somebody about to give birth to something amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it, Virgos. I love it. We're going to talk a little bit about the number 52 on today. Let's see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say. All right. We have the Page of Pentacles. Somebody about to get some new money, all right? Looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to your money. That's what I mean by new money. Here we have the Ace of Cups. We have the King of Swords. We have the Empress card. Somebody is feeling very fertile right now. Fertility. Yes, you're about to give birth to something amazing. Major, major, major. Whether you decide to start a website or something you're about to give birth to to the world, right? Um, here we have the Four of Swords, uh -huh. something you've been very, very passionate about. And we have the Full card in Upright, which is attached to the planet Uranus or Uranus, however you want to pronounce it. Boom, here we have, this is what we have going on for you Virgos. Listen, first and foremost, you all are a lot wiser now. Age does not equate to, equate to wisdom. Some situation that somebody came out of, they are ready for a fresh new start, like to hit a big reset button. You're wiser now, you see things a lot clearer. And what's interesting about this is that you've learned how to take your power back because no longer, especially when it comes to this particular situation that, because um, you had a rebirth, right? I know in our past reading, we saw the death rebirth card. And so this rebirth for you all has been a quick progression because you all are ready to give birth to some new things that you've been very passionate about, whether it's a website, business, somebody's going to school, somebody starting, like I said, starting a business, applying for new positions in the workplace, thinking about going back to school. It's something that you've been very passionate about that now you're wiser now. So a lot of you all are starting to get better sleep because you're excited. You have this very positive outlook on life. Somebody has amethyst in their house or, you know, maybe on a necklace or, or um, you know, a bracelet or something like that, like this amethyst right here. This is, this is, it resonates with God level of clarity, your crown chakra, right? So now you're going to start listening more to your intuition and make a decision from what your intuition is telling you versus Okay, I need to I need to see it first because that going back and forth causing you to overanalyze things, overthinking, over like it, it's like when I look at this, it's like God made you a believer again. <laughs> like Earth signs, a lot of you all need to see like it needs to happen over and over and over again. Like God is saying, okay, you gonna make me prove myself that I'm God again? I mean, like a, another situation, I gotta keep proving myself to you. Come on now, Earth signs. So yeah, so I'm seeing fresh money come your way because you're looking for new windows of opportunity instead of sitting there lamenting over something that you had to walk away from or something you had to sever ties with. You're ready to give birth. Like this is a person who is excited, like eager on it tiptoe anticipation ready to give birth to something they're very passionate about and guess what you were able to still protect your big heart so you still love deep you still love hard which is nice 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 so whatever it is you've been asking and praying for and something you've been very passionate about it could have been some money you were waiting for it could be you know um some ideas coming through it could be anything whatever only you know what you're passionate about let's see what else these cards have to say yeah, this is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fresh new stars. Somebody may even be wearing yellow. Somebody may be by some water, like a beach or a pool or a pond or a lake or something like that. But yeah, your throat chakra is wide open. Now you're starting to start telling God, this is what I want. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. And so you want to start seeing how quickly things come to you. Oh, nice. Okay, here we have the Ten of Cups. Again, you're focusing on instant manifestation, the number 10. Instant manifestation. Uh... We know that the zero is God number of clarity. By the way, if you haven't started following my second channel, some videos are going to be going up very, very soon. I'm going to try to upload some videos either this week. Well, today is Sunday. So either this week or um, like by Saturday, have some uh, videos uploaded because I'm going to go through all the numbers from 1 to 99 so that you'll know exactly when you see that number. Or And I'm also going to do... Um, 
like numbers like 111, 222, 333, like 1111, just every number. So if you have any ideas um, of some numbers that you want to know about, just stay tuned. Don't forget my, my uh, address to the new uh, web page or the, the new YouTube channel is down below. It's the knowledge channel. So yeah, so the, again, you all are, this zero here represents the God number, right? This is where you are, you, this you, you know that you are connecting your divine masculine to your divine feminine, seen, unseen. You're embracing all sides of yourselves, right? So this one right here is where you're grounding. It's like, okay, it's me and God. I'm grounding. I'm feet up, planted to the earth, looking straight up to the to the sky. Not that God is in the sky, but you all know what I'm saying. Let's say it's you and God, right? And so again, you're focusing on your own internal peace and your own happiness. I love it, love it, love it. Again, while preserving your big heart. And emotionally, you're feeling like you hit the jackpot. Let me show you something because there's some people that's been thinking about you. Okay, let me let me show you this. Okay, these are money cards right here. This is letting me know financial independence and this lets me know that you're working very hard. Somebody may own horses because again, this is a person who is working very hard and money is following you. Like maybe money is in your horses or, you know, something like that. But Or maybe money is and something that you're doing you could have somebody could have a um a, a zen lounge or somebody could have like a zumba um they could be a zumba teacher or something like that but whatever your product is it's attached to your money is what i'm trying to tell you right when we talk about the energy the energy exchange for money the number eight right and so that that rebirth for you because you kept such a positive and upbeat attitude again the energy of money is attached to you because again when we when we go through death rebirth and it was an intensity there i mean some people cried some people you know had headaches some people that that death rebirth can literally feel like you were stung by a scorpion or scorpion like you felt like you were going to die but you didn't die you actually survived it and so now you're focusing on thriving so whatever that product that you have whether it's you sell the nails or hair or lashes or you have horses or you have um any kind of product you can sell grills it doesn't matter what you're selling it's attached to your money and this is the this is your money this is what your money is attract attached to or attracted to excuse me and this is what's going to produce your financial independence so stay focused that's why i said some new money is coming your way because you're looking for new windows of opportunity that weight that you were carrying before is not going to be a weight anymore yeah, some people may have even had some issues with their own kids. Because again, we're talking about somebody who was pregnant, right? So you may have had, and again, this is a rebirth for you. Yes, okay, a rebirth, right? So again, a lot of people are thinking about you all because they realize they have they don't have the same level of access to you that they once had before. And you could even be thinking about them, but can they come back? No, they can't, right? They can't come back the way that they did before. Um, and, and this also left, lets me know here that you just have this fresh new outlook on almost like this, this childlike innocence. Let me see what the best way I can explain this to you all. Because page energy is very youthful energy. So this rebirth, you're anticipating, you almost feel like a kid again, like a person who has come through like this this narrow canal and it was real to the struggle to get out on the other side of Janelle you on the other side now you can breathe right not like now you can breathe and so some of you all never thought that you would make it through that's what this is letting me know some of you all never thought that you would make it through to the, to the other side so like I said your expectations should be pretty high somebody's gonna feel like they hit the jackpot you know like they literally jumped out of a treasure chest yeah, this was a this was a hard rebirth for somebody, but again, something you've been passionate about, somebody is I mean, like some of you all and I've gotten text messages from some of you all. Some of you all have started the money has started coming in in different ways. Remember the energy of money is not just in paper form or coin form, which is, you know, somebody mock my words is going away. It's also in it's it's a it's a it's it's used as a tool. We talk about money. Money is used as a tool in exchange for goods and services. We know that, right? 
But it's also like somebody gifting you a trip, somebody paying for your dinner, somebody giving you a discount off of something, you getting a free reading or, or you getting a free item or something that has some value to it and it, you don't have to pay for it. That's also the energy of money. And so when I see that somebody's looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money, remember, even if you do the bartering system, let's just say, let's say you own horses. Let's, let's say we, so we're just, just the horses on the card. Let's say you own horses or whatever, and the person can't afford to pay you X, Y, and Z, but maybe they give you an item of some value, right? That's the energy exchange of money. That's another energy exchange of money. So yeah, so this is nice. This is very, very, very nice. Yeah, so let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, Virgos. Let's keep it moving. Ow. Let's keep it moving. All right. Woo, this is nice. All right, okay. Yeah, so what's interesting is that we're only a couple of days away from the next new moon. Yes, we're, we're only a couple of days. Well, actually, we're only one day. It's like 1.345 days. I mean, you know what I'm saying. We got to round up or round down depending on what time of day it is. When you watch the video, we could be closer to the one day away than two days away. So y'all, you do the math. Anyway, we're very close. <laughs> Anyway, here we have the, the Queen of Pentacles. So money is attracted, the energy of money is attracted to you because of your heart, because you have this very maternal energy. So don't be surprised if people start giving you things. Don't be surprised if people start um, giving you discounts on things. Again, all of that is the energy of money. When I talk about money, a lot of times people think it's just going to be this windfall of money, which would be nice. But if you still have that same mindset of getting connected, being connected to people who have hurt you in the past, you and that money are going to soon depart. <laughs> A money in its full, so you know, soon departs, right? So again, we have the um, the Queen of Pentacles. So again, keep your big heart. Keep being kind. Keep offering things. You know, you'll be put in some places where people are making some deals and making some moves, and including you. The energy of money. Again, the number eight. Like I was telling you before, energy exchange money. The top of this window for the number eight is for your vision. What do you vision? What do you envision for your lives? And then the, the bottom of the eight is your goods, products, and services. And so when you turn it this way, it looks like the infinity symbol. It's an infinite amount of wealth for you. Yes. That's what's coming to you very quickly. Again, here we have this page energy. This is some very youthful energy. Again, what I'm telling you is so you all have been reborn, almost feeling like a kid again. Like you were rebirthed back out into another realm and now you're like oh my god i feel good i just i wake up i feel re recharged i feel energized like this like somebody who is recharged you're on fire love it the emperor card letting me know that you we have empress and emperor card y'all are out here doing it like i said fully tap into your divine masculine energy you're on fire. You got this air right here because this is attached to Aquarius. This is one of Aquarius's ruling planets, Uranus. The way that you're doing it is in such a unique way. This time is something very different than what you've done before. You know, a lot of times earth signs, and like, and I always say this about Virgos, you know, out of the, the three earth signs, you all are, because you're mutable signs, you all easily adapt easier. You adapt easier to situations than the other two signs. Capricorn is right there in between. They may adapt easily or they may kind of be a little fixed depending on what the situation is. But you all by default adapt to situations much easier than the other two earth signs. So this time you all are looking for a different way of approaching your money, your emotions, your fi the fire in you and everything. So I see a lot of your businesses being booked and busy, like tons of duties, duties and responsibilities, right? All that other trickiness, that, that, that internal battle with your higher selves or lower self is falling by the wayside. You're no longer, you know, you're starting to realize this moon card is attached to Pisces, even though the moon is Cancer's ruling planet. But you all are starting to realize almost how shallow the emotions were like it really really wasn't that deep some of some people were making it more deep than it was that's where the overthinking was coming in yeah that's what it, but not anymore now you're like you know what it was when i really look back on that thing it wasn't as deep as i was i was kind of making i was overthinking this thing i was you know feeling like i was being stung by a scorpion it was just you know almost just dramatic it was just it was just 
especially when you're dealing with when you're dealing with adults. And I and I have to say, people who know better, you know, adults, they sh- they you think that they should know better, so they should do better, right? Whether they're adult kids, adult friends, whoever, right? When you look back at it, you're gonna say, man, hmm. We have the Seven of Cups, which means temptation, right? Some of the snakes, see this snake right here? Some of the snake energy, it had to happen that way to, to get you to come out of that, that feeling of fear, right? Because you were bitten by a snake and thought you almost died. You almost thought you died, but you survived it, right? So imagine not knowing whether a snake that's come. Let's say you, you're in the garden and you're working out because you're all the earth signs, so you like having your hands in the dirt and walking outside and or being grounded in some kind of way. Most earth signs do, not every earth sign on the planet. So just for so for those of you, it's like, I don't like being outside. <laughs> anyway, so let's say, for instance, you're in the garden and all of a sudden you look up just in time, right before the snake, their mouth is wide open, just crunch right, right on your hand, right, just bite you. And you don't know whether it's a venomous snake and you just sling it off, right? It goes flying across the other side of the, the, the garden or whatever. And you go flying in the house screaming. The, the garden tools go flying in the air. You trip up the steps. You running in the house trying to, oh, my God, oh, my God. All of this drama, right? Only to find out that it was not as bad as you thought it was. You got the ambulance, the fire truck out there, the whole street, the neighbors, their blinds flittering because they being nosy trying to find out what's going on. Oh, my God, what, what is going on over there in Virgo's house? What is going on? And then the EMTs get there, and they look at your your bite, and they go, uh, sir or ma'am, do you remember what the snake looks like? Well, it was a shiny little black snake. It was about this big, right? Oh, it was a garden snake. Okay, well, we can take you to the hospital if you want to, but, I mean, they're harmless. They don't, you know, they're not going to do anything to you. You know, you might, we just patch you up. We can, you know, give you a little shot or whatever, patch you up, whatever. But I need to make sure. This is how some of you all were. I need to make sure. I don't know. I, I think it was a little black set. First, I was sure. Now, I think maybe I maybe it had a diamond on his head. It was. I think I saw something on the animal channel. <laughs> I, I feel shortness of breath, I have heart palpitations, I'm sweating real bad, all of this going on. You get to the hospital, they run blood tests, uh, sir, ma'am, it was a garden snake, you're going to be just fine, just be careful, you know, you may be able to, you know, if you feel like you've seen a lot of them in your neighborhood, you can call animal control or whatever, or get go to the, the Home Depot or whatever and get some stuff, all of this, that's what I'm saying, it wasn't as deep as you thought it was. Not your rebirth. Now, for the people who did something to you, they're going to have to go through the karma they put out in the universe. But some of you all were going through all of that. And, and God was saying, I'm trying to help you get to all the things that you asked for. Right? You know, I, you, I have to give y'all a visual, right? So, okay. <laughs> and the Academy Award goes to Ra. <laughs> all right. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I love this for you. I love this for you. Right? I love it. Love it. Love it. So hindsight 2020, when you look back on it, you're going to say, you know what? It wasn't even that serious. I was really doing the most. I was doing the most. But, you know, again, it depends on who the players are. If the players are your adult kids, it could feel like you were doing the most. But when you look back on it, you smile and you go, you know what? That's never going to happen again. I was just, whew, maybe I was being a little dramatic. <laughs> or maybe it was a, you know, maybe it was a best friend of many years. And maybe I was just being a little dramatic. It wasn't that serious. Like when you look back on it, gonna, some of you all are going to laugh. Here we have, here's an oracle card. It reads, inside everyone is a place that is intimate, alive, and full of yearning. To obtain what you desire, your love and desire must match. Just in case somebody wants to take a screenshot of that, there you go, boom. Okay, what's the other side? It says, my spiritual path unfolds when I love myself and follow my heart's desire. Boom, you see it? Good. All right, so let's pull some more oracle cards. Let's pull some more of these cards and see what else is popping. Let's see what else is going on here. Love it, love it, love it. Do y'all ever imagine God just kind of looking at us just going, mm, mm, mm. look at my poor little baby. They just doing the most. <laughs> they going off. Not even realizing that I'm doing this because I want the best for them and I want them to start trusting me. Do y'all ever imagine God saying that kind of, you know, saying that about us? Like when we just about to pass out nervous scared oh like putting up the worst case scenarios okay step out of your comfort zone yes step out of your comfort zone 
North Node. Go to your highest selves, right? Go to your highest self. Step out of your comfort zone. Stop doing all of that. This is where you're going to, this is what you're, you know, and I'm not making light of anybody. I just wanted to add a little humor here, you know, and give you a scenario so that you can see that somebody was really, really stressing over something they didn't have to. When we put things out in the universe that we want a, a, a higher paying job, that we want other opportunities, that we want more money, we want a better way of living and, the, and all of that, we have to be prepared for the test. And you got to know this. That it's all good because it is all God. No matter what is happening, it's all good because it's all God. God is allowing it to happen because of what you asked for. It's like, okay, are you really ready for this? Or are you going to try to... Some people even try to play games with God. They'll keep trying... They'll try to hold on to their past while they're trying to grab onto their future as if God doesn't already know what you're about to do. <laughs> right? And then some people, just, you have to go through some things where you almost are just like terrified and nervous. Remember we had, we had Uranus was retrograde at one point, Venus was retrograde at, at one point, also um, Mercury, was, Mercury was retrograde at one point, and Mercury is still retrograde, by the way. And we, had, we still have full moon energy. So while the moon was not a fully illuminated, it was illuminated enough where people were having real strong downloads, memories, and overhearing conversations while they were half awake, half sleep. The dreams were so vivid. It was, I mean, it was terrifying for some people. So again, I'm not making light of it. I have to add a little humor to it just to let you know it's okay to just breathe. Just inhale, take a deep breath, go take a nice walk, recharge, reset, and you know, and get ready for this rebirth that's happening. Like have a very optimistic attitude towards this rebirth that's happening. This seven of cups right here really is about temptation. Everybody, you know, Know, God already knows that you've encountered snake energy, that you've been bitten by a snake, that things are coming at you. You know, money is coming your way. If you're interested in love coming your way, that's coming your way too. Somebody's going to be looking at you like, mm, look at Virgo. Virgo looks like a little snack, right? And so it's not for you to get paranoid or nervous. It's for you to start take, listening to your higher self, listening to your intuition. You see what I'm saying, Virgos? Okay, good. I know everybody's, I know you all are extremely smart, so I know you fully understand what I'm saying, right? Connecting with crystals. Grab your gemstones and your crystals. Make sure they're charged. You know, if you need to make a bracelet or necklace or keep it in your pocket or wherever you're going to keep it on your person or whatever. But just, you know, somebody's going to get some amethyst and some other stones. We have some um, rose quartz. You can see that this pink stone, rose quartz. Some of you all want to just really forgive and just move on because this forgiveness is for you and just move on. And if you decide to let people back into your life, it has to be 100% on your terms and your terms only, right? And if and if you don't, that's okay too. But what I'm seeing for you all is looking forward to a fresh new start so that the things that you've been praying for, which is more money, you know, um, your peace, your internal peace and happiness, you know, preserving your good heart, um, being on fire when it comes to your business, being booked and busy and all these other wonderful things. All of this came at a point where you had to go through this test to be on this side and go, whew, okay, I made it. I made it through. What's that gospel singer's, um, what's his song? I made it through. Oh my gosh. I can see the person's face and I cannot think of his name right now. The song is so inspiring. Okay, if I think of it, I'll put it down in the description box. But it's a, um, or if y'all think of some songs that's like inspirational or whatever, share, drop it below so it'll inspire somebody. You know, we're all a family, we're all a team. So if you can think of something inspira an inspirational song to share, you know, with um, people who tune into this channel, drop it below. People need inspiration to know that they're headed in the right direction. But this is a great spread of cards for you, Virgo. I am so excited for your new beginning, your fresh new start, and your rebirth. I'm excited that you all are in boss mode. Y'all are taking your rightful places on your in your throne. You know, you've learned a lot of lessons. This is very, very, very nice. So congratulations to each and every one of you, Virgos. Bye.